you to use your superpowers to help us get ready. Prepare us. Teachers, I know that we can be a challenge in many ways. <laughs> we can push your buttons and make you want to take that famous personal day. <laughs> but please know that those of you that find and use your inner superpowers, we will remember that forever. Steph, Anytime you see those capital letter, we want to slow it down and emphasize it. Go. We remember. remember forever. Yeah, good, good. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a haunting way. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the sandlot forever? <laughs> <laughs> staff members, can I just stop right here and get a shout out for the staff members? And they'll go, woo! They'll be sitting like right over there. Woo! I don't know if they're still there. They're probably still over there. Who knows where they sit? But you'll know it when they start yelling. Mm -hmm. They might be all spread out. I think my favorite time of the day is lunch. I love chicken nuggets and rice cream treats. So thank you, lunch staff. Wherever you are at the front office, a bus driver, or a custodian, you have superpowers too. You contribute to my future. And I thank you. So, what's at GISD? When the school door doors open on August 26th, I challenge you. Good. To put your superpowers start building, to work. Start building, start keep going, start getting really, okay. put, let's have church in there, okay? Here we go. For my generation and generations to come, we need everyday heroes who will see our potential and engage us, accept us, learn us, and prepare us. Will you be my hero? Will you be my hero? Will you be my hero? Stand! If someone will be my hero! Oh, baby, that's good. Okay, here we go. We need to. Oh, <laughs> so I like the end of it. That's good. Awesome. All right. Uh, we're going to do it one more time, okay? Okay. Let me um, do it. I want to do, the part, do as much as you can without you know if you can do this stuff right here if you want to. Okay? But I want you to, this time when we're going through it, I want you to practice talking. Actually, can you sit, mm -hmm. sit over there? Sure. Mama, you can stay oh, right there. Okay. And I'll be able to, I can see that you're filming. Okay? <laughs> okay, so you talk uh, to Mrs. Nita Barnes over here. I'm going to be over here and really talk to us, okay? Point to us, eye contact, almost like, like, yes, I'm talking to you. No, you can hear me. Okay, thank you. You know, just like that, okay? Here we go. Okay. What's up, Wet Satchi ISD? <laughs> Let me hear you. My name is Samaj Brooks, and I'll be your keynote speaker this year. Samaj. Uh, oh, Find another word to use. Not that one. Start over. Oh. My name is Samaj Brooks, and I'll be a fifth grader this year at Cliff Elementary. Mm -mm. Let's hear from Cliff Nation. Woo! We need to start over. Start over? From saying your name. Okay. My name is Samaj Brooks, and I'll be a fifth grader this year at Cliff Elementary. Your, your name is Dr. Samaj Brooks. It's Samaj Brooks. Exactly. You got it. This is, uh, this is the theme. Yeah, so, exactly. That, that's how you say it. What's your name, Smudge Brooks? <laughs> you know, it sounds right to you because that's your name. You right. know, it sounds right to mom because that's the way she hears it. But as someone who's never heard your name, you have a very unique, you know, Smudge. I, I think you're the only Smudge I've ever met. Beautiful name. It sounds very, it sounds very princely. Okay? Smudge <laughs> Brooks. Okay? It's called a, enunciation. Just like every the or where, or whatever word that you have, just those normal words, you over, you kind of over say them. It's called pronouncing your consonants and <laughs> mouthing your vowels. And even though it seems weird to us when we're doing it right here, it doesn't sound weird to the person back there. Because why? Because all they know is they understand you. And this is what I say to my theater kids, high school, all the way up to 18 years old. 
We preach it, we preach it, we preach it, and they still don't do it, right? Well, say, say, you know, say about, you know, definitely we've got to hear the Brooks part, because I, I can understand your first name. It's, you kind of rush through your last name. Make sure we know it's Brooks. And they're going to be like, oh, I know a Brooks. <laughs> Brooks. There you go. That's right. It's also, uh, you, uh, you that in the whole speech, we want to find bullets. So if he ever gets lost, we know to go to that next bullet. Okay. We call it bullets. So for bullet instance, points. bullet points, exactly. Bullet points, basically, you know, like, I introduce myself. You know, what's up, Locks at GISD? My name is, you know, Samaj Brooks. That's Boom. bullet one. The next one is, I go to Cliff Elementary. Just like how he got stuck and like, where am I? He knows that second bullet is, I go to Cliff. It's like, I gotta say my name. I gotta say where I go to school. You know, it's just like if you ever get lost, you know, like, okay, I'm just going to skip it and go that next thing I know. They're called bullet points. Okay? And that's what you need to go through today. Like, you highlight it. So, and because he's memorized so much of what's actually on the page itself, if he makes them, like, literally highlights it in different colors and puts a little bullet next to it, bullet one, bullet two, bullet three, he'll actually see it and go to that next one if he ever gets caught. That's the way I teach a lot of my students memorize speeches in a very short period of time. I wish I would have known that. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can do it quick. I mean, it, it's actually easier to do that once you already... Samaj, I bet you, you've done this before. Has your teacher ever said, Samaj, will you read pay, you know, paragraph yeah. one? Of, and when you first do it for the first time, when they ask you to do it, you're like, oh, okay. You know, you obviously you know, you know how to read very well, I can tell. But... You've never seen it before, so you might stumble over the comma or, or it didn't look right to you, so you have to stop and read it again. Yeah. But if you're like, so Miles, we're going to come to you. I want you to read paragraph one. So you read it before it's your turn. And then all of a sudden, when it's your turn to read, you read it and you read it clearly. Yeah. It's not that you memorized it. It's that your, it, it was your picture. was Your mind was taking pictures of the way the words are on the page. And so when you start reading it, you're not stumbling over the words at all. You didn't memorize it. It's just that your brain is remembering what's coming next. So that's, what you, that's how you have to memorize it. you got to memorize it by bullets. Makes sense. You know what I always tell my kids? They have to memorize, speak, speech I pray you as I pronounce it to you, tripping on the tongue. But if you mouth it as many of your players do, I had a deep time cry, I split my line. No, do not saw the air too much with your hands, thus diffuse all gently. For on the very torn tip is, and as I may say, the whirlwind of your passion, you must acquire and begin to temper to make it a smoothness. That's only half of it. Okay? I make all my students memorize that in two days in the beginning of theater one. They're like, you're crazy. I can't memorize that. I don't even know what those words mean. <laughs> but what I make them do is I make them read it, not memorize it, but I make them read it 21 times. I say, don't try, don't, 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 try, don't try to memorize it. Just read it 21 times. And then put it down and start saying it. And you're going to realize that your picture, your mind was taking pictures of those words the entire time. And every time you read it again, on number 16, on number 17, your mind memorized it without even trying. It just did. But all of a sudden, you start to make those own bullet points yourself. And all of a sudden, it gets real easy to memorize. Then when you really try to memorize it, you know exactly what word comes next. Just a matter of practice after that. Okay, so we're going to start from the top, okay? And we're awesome. not going to do too much after that. Okay? okay. All right, here we go. Okay. What's up, Bucks at GISD? Woo! Let me hear you. Woo! Woo! I bet you did not expect a 10 year old to be a keynote speaker this year. My name is Samaj Brooks. Good. And I will be a fifth grader this year at Cliff Elementary. Let's hear it for Cliff Nation! Woo! What does that mean? You can say you were there when my career in entertainment began. Now, aren't you privileged? Yes, I am! Bullet <laughs> 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 point. Come on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now, aren't you Do it. Do it. 
No, I am too. Signing autographs in the fort after the event. You see how that all kind of goes together? Yeah. It's like, ah, aren't you privileged to be here? By the way, I'll be out there signing autographs. <laughs> you got to think how it goes together, okay? Because it all connects. It's like those little trains that connect to the next one. How does this sentence connect to the other one? Uh, it were, it, that, that the, the sentence before reminds you of what you're supposed to say next. Does that, if that makes any sense. Okay, so take it all the way back. Like, now, aren't you privileged? Now, aren't you privileged? Oh, and uh, by the way, I will be signing autographs in the foyer after the event. Okay. You know, entertainers are oftentimes seen as heroes. Superman, Spider Man. Talk, talk to us. Don't look at the ground. Talk to us. Okay. I, know what you, I know what you're doing. You're looking down because you're trying to remember. This is called okay. recall. He's trying to recall. <laughs> but trying to recall by looking up at the ceiling. You know, a lot of my students, I say, they'll, they'll do that. They're like, if I don't remember it, I'll look down. Because that's just the mind telling you to do this, to relax and think. Okay? But train your mind to, when you're trying to recall, look up at the ceiling. Because they still think you're looking at them. Instead of looking at the floor. When you look at the floor, they know that you're not looking at them. When you look up there at the ceiling, at those lights in the very back right there, I still think you're looking at somebody back there. Okay? Uh, like up there. Yeah, so looking for entertainers. Uh, you know, entertainers are oftentimes seen as heroes. Superman, Spider-Man, Batman, and my personal favorite, Wonder Woman. Woo! <laughs> uh, but to me and my generation, a person who is even more powerful than a famous superhero is that of a teacher. Yes, all of you. Remember it. You want to stop there and just work on memorizing? You can. Because my main goal today, mommy, was to get him up on stage and see you actually the space that he was going to be in, how you sounded with that mic, how it, how it feels when it's around your ear, and we give you some pointers on what 